Hi there, this is uh, Srikanth Sari. So in this lesson, we are going to learn about uh, so various uh, library functions uh, used for uh, uh, manipulation of strings. Okay. So let me launch the IDE here. So I already have created a project under the name uh, string4 here, okay, which contains a C file. Okay. So there are uh, uh, many uh, library functions uh, regarding uh, 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 the manipulating of uh, strings. Okay. So mainly uh, we are going to look into these functions. Okay. So these are very very useful uh, when you are doing uh, uh, string manipulations. Okay. So strlen used to calculate the length of the string. strcpy used to copy uh, one string into another. So string compare which is done by strcmp compares two strings here. So strrev was used to reverse the string and strcat concats or joins uh, two strings. Okay. So let us go to our uh, C file uh, string 4 dot C. Okay. So the first operation uh, we are going to perform is on uh, so strlen here. So let us take a string here. So let us say it as care name of 20. Okay, so I am writing just my name. So in order to find the length of the string, which is nothing but an integer uh, returned here, so l is equal to str len of name. Okay, that's it. So this returns you the length of the this string. Okay, Srikan, that's it. Okay. So previous to that, you need to add a header file. Uh, string dot h okay so all the uh, library string library functions uh, which are used to manipulate the strings are stored in this uh, header failure string dot h okay so this gives you the length of the string uh, uh, name okay so name which is uh, just string on the side so here let us print that length here also we let us print the name also the name is equal to percentage yes name okay so let's print the length also the printf the length of the string length of name percentage e comma l okay so now let us just save and run the program so you simply get the name as let us make the screen a little bit bigger we just get the name displayed here and the length which is 15 okay so here um, so length is 15 okay so actually the actual length is different okay so when you want to calculate the actual length so so when we are talking about the strings here uh, there is an hidden character uh, known as null character okay so which is uh, inserted at the end of the at the end of the string okay so in order to find the actual length let us make a small modification here so let us make it as uh, so undefined or else let us uh, so leave this braces empty so that uh, the maximum length is not specified here. So now if you want to know the actual length of the string, so let us have a printf message. The actual length is the one which is uh, given by uh, including the uh, null character. Okay. So now, uh, so if you observe the output here, it says the actual length is 16. Okay, so this is because when you are using the uh, size of operator, okay, size of operator as you have studied in the previous lesson, which is used to calculate the bytes, okay, the number of bytes occupied by the string. Okay, so here the string bytes, since uh, each character is one byte in length, each character is uh, one byte in length here. So if you uh, keep on calculating the length, you just get 15. Okay, the actual that is the uh, 15 is the length of the string. Okay, length of the string. So there is a hidden character called null character which is inserted at the end of the uh, every string automatically by the C compiler. So when you are using the size of operator, it calculates uh, including that uh, null character also, and so that's the reason you are getting the output here as 16 here. Okay, so this is the actual length including the null character okay so in the same way so here we are having an other function so strcpy so for to demonstrate that let us take uh, another uh, variable here so care name 2 of 20 so let us say something like this 
so now if you want to copy the the name uh, the name string uh, name into this name two okay so if you want to uh, do that you can use the, the string copy function which is str cpy of name two comma name okay so if we do something like this the source and destination okay so here the source is name and the destination is name two the source contains a string srikanth dasari which is just copied into the name two which is destination here so now so if you print uh, the contents of the contents of the name two here so name two is equal to percentage yes comma name two okay so if you say just save and run the program you get uh, whatever it is there in the name function just copied into the name two and you are just getting the same thing as output here okay so in the same way you have the next function which is uh, string compare okay so now uh, we have two strings here uh, name and name two so if you want to compare uh, uh, those two strings comparison means so what is if they are whether they are equal or not equal so you can get uh, you can retrieve uh, that data okay so use that let us have if condition here so the function is strcmp of name comma name two okay so here here you are intended to compare uh, both of them okay so here if they are equal it returns the value zero here so that's the reason i have uh, used the comparison operator w is equal to and just equal to assign so if they are equal then it is assigned as zero then they, then this condition would be true okay so then now you can have a small uh, message here to say something both are equal okay just to save another program both are equal okay so name and name two both are uh, strict on the side so if you uh, make any changes to your uh, what else if you do uh, if you say something like this uh, explicitly so if you change the contents of uh, name two so or else uh, okay so or else if you take another uh, variable here so for example if you take a name Three, okay. So name three is equal to twenty, and you have assigned some other value here. So if you say some like same like this, then it's actually okay. So now if you compare uh, uh, name name with uh, name three here, okay. So uh, since name consists of Shrikant Dasari and uh, name three consists of Dhanesh Rishi, so both are since both are not equal, so we need to have another message here. So in the else part. Uh, which is or else simply you can say something like this not equal okay just if you save another program you get just uh, not equal okay so it returns zero if both are uh, so both are equal so if not Uh, it just returns another value, uh, so then ultimately the condition jumps into the else part and just displays it's not equal. Okay, so the fun other function is the reverse string. Okay, so if you want to reverse uh, the name or else the, the string, the reverse means just uh, print the string from the reverse order. Okay, starting from the ending. So if you want to perform that thing, we have to use that uh, reverse uh, function here. S T R R E V. so simply you can say name but, uh, okay so now if you print the name here reverse of name this is called percentage yes comma name okay so save the program you just get the your name uh, srikanth dasari in the reverse order okay so starting from i it just prints the name in the reverse pattern okay so in the same way uh, we have uh, concat okay so the concat is the one uh, which is used to concat or join two strings okay so for this demonstration so let us take uh, another name here okay let us take uh, char uh, let us say f name so 20 okay let us say this as uh, jeffrey okay So let us take another uh, variable. Care, uh, I mean uh, first name and last name. That is the that is the reason we are taking f name and uh, 
tell name get first name and last name and let us say here way okay so now if you want to concat uh, this first name and last name last name which gives you the full name okay so here you, you need to use the concat function okay so str cat okay is the function for concatenation so you can do something like this uh, f name comma l name okay so now what happens here is uh, the f name and l name gets joined here uh, and it is stored in the l name, f name okay so uh, we, since we are having a so source and destination uh, source and destination so destination contains uh, the join string okay the concatenated string is stored in the f name here so now so if you just pre output uh, everything here so let us take first f name is equal to percentage yes f name okay so let us have uh, spell name also the l name is equal to percentage yes l name okay so can have uh, the full name also full name percentage yes comma f name so since we have discussed with that the destination consists of uh, the concatenated string so that's the reason we have taken a f name here okay so if you save and run the program so f name <laughs> so since we are uh, printing uh, this after the concatenation that's the reason it is getting as uh, so we have to do all this stuff before the before the concatenation only the same and run the program so f name is jeffrey and l name is way and uh, here you have jeffrey way uh, both uh, combined here so there is a problem here when you are concatenating the both the strings uh, uh, actually we want everyone expects a single space here between the first name and last name so in order to achieve that uh, we can do like this so first you can say something like this f name comma uh, single quotations and then you can say str uh, cat so f name comma l name okay so here you are just appending a single blank blank space between uh, uh, the name first name and last name so immediately after the f name you, if you concatenate that with the blank space and uh, the string goes to uh, the space with uh, the, the f name is now uh, joined with this empty space and now that f name gets uh, concatenated with the L name. So if you save and run the program, we observe the blank space here. So okay, so uh, this is a very easy way to understand uh, the full name uh, since everyone expects a single blank space here. Okay, so this is the basic stuff about uh, so all the basic functions here uh, in uh, string manipulations. Okay, so here we have seen uh, the first length. Okay, the strlen, which is used to calculate the length, and copy, which is very obvious to copy the string from source to destination. Okay. So in the same way you have a string compare which is used to compare uh, two strings if, if they are equal it returns uh, the value 0 so in that way you can uh, uh, know that the strings are equal so in the same way you have other function uh, to reverse a string which is known as strrev so if you see the output you see the output okay so in this way uh, we have all the basic uh, uh, string manipulation functions in the same way we have a string concat here which is used to concat uh, two different strings uh, first name and last name okay so see you in the next lesson